Hello, everybody. I'm Danny S. Hodges. I've got you a good video here of how to make a planer board. So, this plexiglass we're using is Lexan. It comes from the big home store. And it's real good stuff. You can drill it. Uh, I guess you can cut it with a saw. We didn't never cut it. We just scribed it. But I bought one piece. And we're just cutting it in half here. Okay, so... This piece, these, each planer board is going to be an 11 inch planer board. Now I got some I'll show you here at the end of the video that I bought. They didn't, it didn't seem like to me but it was too good for like fishing for big fish. See my son here breaking this uh, glass. He scribed it a few times. I said, man, don't you break that. <laughs> you know, if you're breaking on video, you know, you got to go buy another. Oh, he's got it. Hey, y'all really, uh, I really ain't got to talk much during this video. You pretty well can just watch the video without even any commentating. So I have some staff on my air, y'all, that's my insulation. And he's cutting some strips. He's going to cut some strips here. He's cutting them strips two inches wide. We're going to slim it down, but uh, right this minute he's cutting them two inches wide. We didn't really know what we wanted. Uh, we just uh, was kind of just doing it. So I ain't going to show you uh, cutting all the pieces. I normally do my talking while I'm making a video, but this particular one, I just felt like it'd be better to do a voiceover. Well, you get the idea here what he's doing. And y'all, I, I just use him on a guy that I didn't know. I didn't want to go buy no staff phone. I've had that right here a long time. I got this planer board right here with me looking at it. We must have cut them pieces about three right. inches because I just checked it. You're gonna do it enough to get so the final product is about two and a half. Like I say, we're going to slim them down. And what he's doing is just taking some epoxy and just going to glue all the pieces together. I've seen some demonstrations about that Loctite, y'all. I've seen a bunch of different brands versus the Loctite. That Loctite's pretty good, y'all.
I told him try to keep at least one side straight, and that's what he's doing. All right, he's uh, we laid a level across there. He put a little bit of weight on it, and we really didn't wait very long. So see now we can start slimming it down. I didn't show all the cutting that I done because we kind of. We would cut some, and I'd say, well, let's make it a little bit narrow and a little bit narrow. And See how careful he is with that saw, y'all. Don't make no mistake on that. You know, and, and what he's doing here, we done cut both the edges. So I told him to find out what the middle was. So he's cutting a mark down through the center. I guess about half the distance of this. You'll, you'll see what I'm talking about here in a second. show us cut I mean he just we just wasn't thinking about it y'all but uh I realized in a minute we didn't show the cut but we'll we'll I'll show it to you in a minute. So he put the plexiglass in there and he's marking the depth. And even though these are really real simple, it still has to be right, y'all. So, you know, he's roughing it up, you know. You know, making that that L policy where it'll stick. All right, so you see what he's doing there? Fix and mix them up. That, yeah. that glass, which is plexiglass, glass, there's the cut, y'all. It seemed like it was about So uh, Stephen Hodges, he's got his own channel, Stephen Hodges. I actually got five channels. I've got a lot of women on here for subscribers on this channel. But they'll help me get this video. You know, rolling and... So maybe this video will take off. Maybe it won't, you know. We'll just see. Well, you see what I'm saying here? It's pretty much something that you can just watch. You can just watch without even saying anything. 
Here's the Loctite. I didn't realize I didn't show it good, but it's Loctite. You know, you know, I said that I bought some of them crazy something other. And, man, I started seeing them back when I got them. I changed my mind. Because. Put one of them. I don't even know if they it out. seem like they might be out for white perch. Yeah. But I can't imagine putting no big old sinker on them things I bought. I'll show them in a minute. They, they see him uh, putting the hill posse in there. I want some where you can put a big sinker on. That the staff on will hold the sinker up. And I didn't see it just then, but uh. I think he wiped. Well, I know that he wiped that epoxy on the whole entire bottom, you know, like just kind of, just sort of trying to waterproof it. And I know the staff bones waterproof, but it ain't 100% waterproof. I've seen something that was took out of the bottom of a boat one time that was in there for 20 years. It didn't weigh but about 200 pounds. And you see what he's doing? He's cutting a point on it, y'all. I know y'all been fishing for him whenever. Pollen was in the water. So we decided to put points on it. Not no particular angle just some kind of an angle mm -hmm. and I was watching him like a hawk like over the camera that's the reason sometimes I lose him. I was watching what he was doing. So you see he's drilling is three and a quarter inches from the front and then even with the stair foam there. Y'all actually filmed making both of them but I hadn't got it on here. If you seen one you you seen all you need to see I reckon. So the boats he's got here is uh, five and a half, five and a half inches. And they got the rounded heads on them, you know. They had not got a hex head. So you can get them boats, like just single two boats, from uh, the home store there. He put one washer on. So, you got to go ahead and put this right here together to do the next step, y'all. I 
trying to get ready to do, y'all. So right here, he's just burning the end of it, getting it hot where it's easy to hammer out. We burn it longer than it looks. You see the paper towel on the boat? You can't let your boat get hot. That's a senior bunch there, y'all. So them's key rings there, y'all. And I mean key rings. So that's a Scotty eleven eighty one clip. It had a little cable on it holding the the back clip connected. We cut it off. So he's just drilling that out, making it a little bigger to go on the key ring. That's why I didn't want to do the video like in real time. You never know what you run over, run across. You know the flat side of that boat where he hammered it. Have your arms straight there. You want it a certain way. You'll realize when you put it in there that you want your line. When your line goes in there, you won't. You don't want your your clip turned the wrong way. You want it so like it'll just pull out real easy, like not up and down. Is what I mean to say. And he's fitting to drill the bo uh, the back. So he's he's right in the corner. You don't want to put it too close to the corner, but you want it pretty near the corner, from the bottom and the side. So I actually ordered some more of these clips that go in the back. And the ones I ordered had a swivel on it. I don't know if that's necessary.
You want good clips for your front. You don't want your line pulling out where you're reeling in, having to re-clip the line all the time. Now here's the both planer boards. You remember the bolts had to be facing into one another if you make it directional. And see him turning the the bolt there. He's turning the flat spot sideways. And uh, right here, we got some silicone. I was going to put Loctite on it, but, you know, just to put a coat or something on it. But I come back in here to get another one, and they wasn't, they wasn't no more. But I seen I had some silicone there. So I realized that this don't need silicone on it to float. But the silicone is also a glue. Y'all, uh, we we go to catch big fish, and we got and we've caught a bunch of big catfish. Herbert, we got to get him back in the water. Smile. The bye fish. Our biggest catfish. We're gonna put him back in, give somebody else a chance to catch him. Let him get bigger. How about that? And we go up to Clark's Hill in South Carolina. Uh, the fish for them stripers. So you can imagine using them little crazy horse planers there and you can buy a flag kit if you want to if you want a flag kit you can buy one I don't think it's necessary myself so look at the homemade planer board how much bigger it is than the crazy horse here Hey, that's it, y'all. I think I might use this for a thumbnail. We'll see y'all next time.